Okay, we're going to go ahead and get going now. All right. So uh, good afternoon. Um, welcome to the virtual college exploration for all Missouri students sponsored by the Missouri Association for College Admission, Admission Counselors and Strive Can. Um, just want to thank you for being here. Um, I'm Cindy Burrison. I'm a counselor at Lutheran High School North, and I'm just going to share a few housekeeping things with you. Um, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type questions to our presenter at any time. Your camera and your microphone are off, so the panelists, panelists cannot see or hear you. Um, this is just one of many sessions going on, so you can check out the full schedule at moacac.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within a week at the same website, moacac.org. Um, I'd like to now turn it over to our presenter, and I'm going to turn off my screen and he'll start sharing with you. So thanks for joining us today. All right, good afternoon. Thank you so much for that introduction and the housekeeping. Like she said, my name is Paul Baker, and I am the admissions and recruitment coordinator here at College of the Ozarks. And it is my pleasure today to speak with you about this remarkable institution. Uh, one of which, just briefly, I uh, wanted to tell you is uh, actually where I graduated from college. And um, I absolutely loved my experience here as a student. So now I hope to help other students have a great college experience here as well. Again, if you have questions, please share those with me through the, the chat option and I will be happy to answer as many as I can towards the end of this presentation. But overall, um, College of the Ozarks is a four-year Christian college. We are located in so Southwest Missouri, actually three miles south of Branson, Missouri. Uh, it's a beautiful area uh, within the Ozarks Mountains. And uh, we have a pretty unique mission here at College of the Ozarks. Overall, our mission is to provide the advantages of a Christian education to youth of both sexes, especially those found worthy, but who are without sufficient means to procure such training. And as we strive to achieve that goal, we also look forward to the opportunity to, uh, to accomplish our vision, and that is to develop citizens of Christ-like character who are well-educated, hardworking, and patriotic. So through that vision, you'll notice that we have five main goals that we focus on, and those are academic, vocational, Christian, patriotic, and cultural. So those will be the five things that I'll focus on kind of as a roadmap through this presentation. So the first goal, the academic goal, is to provide a sound education based in the liberal arts. So overall with that, uh, we are providing this type of education to just over 1,500 students. We have uh, it's about 55% females on campus and 45% males. We have an average class size of about 20. We have a 15 to one student to faculty ratio. So a great opportunity for students to uh, get to know their professors and to receive one-on-one -on -one help uh, throughout their learning experience. I know that uh, you know, many of these, uh, the average class size um, is based on the general education classes we offer. But uh, I recall when I was a junior and senior here, I benefited greatly from the opportunities within my major to have class sizes down to maybe six or seven students. So the professor could work with us each individually and help us through some, uh, uh, some of those classes that were more intense later on in my college career. We also, uh, speaking of help that we provide, uh, we provide many different resources for our students. So those, uh, for example, are test taking strategies and uh, ways to help them, tactics to help them with the test anxiety. We have tutoring, we have a writing center, foreign language labs, disability support, uh, many different ways that we try to help our students uh, learn and grow throughout their time here. Now, as far as uh, what we offer for students, we have uh, over 40 uh, majors and over 40 minors, as well as six pre-professional programs. You can see all of those listed there on your screen. Some of our most popular programs include business administration, agriculture, nursing, education, and communication arts. We also offer some pretty unique uh, 
uh, learning opportunities here. Things that are hard to find elsewhere, such as culinary arts, hotel and restaurant management. We also have a minor in classical education and a conservation and wildlife management uh, major. Uh, these learning opportunities, so uh, we, we take great pride in uh, the education we provide here in the classroom, but we also offer many ways for students to grow in their experience outside of their class. And we do that through a pretty unique opportunity to achieve our vocational goal. Uh, so that goal is to promote a strong work ethic, encouraging the development of good character and values. So the vocational goal is pretty unique among colleges. We've actually, uh, for over 113 years, we've been providing students with opportunity to work on campus. And uh, that work is, like I said, providing experience for them, uh, but it's also providing the benefits uh, for them to graduate without debt. So we have the nickname Hard Work U because all of our full-time students actually work on campus 15 hours per week, as well as two 40-hour work weeks per year during breaks in the semester. And that work helps them pay for their college year. It's a pretty unique opportunity to not only uh, to gain their education, but to get hands-on experience in areas that are relevant to many of our majors. For example, we have over 100 work areas across campus. Almost any direction that you look on campus, you'll see a student working in some capacity. For example, if a student is studying computer science, they can work in our IT department on campus and gain some great hands-on experience uh, as uh, with computer programming or web development, uh, hardware um, upgrades, all kinds of opportunities. And uh, this spans out. Uh, when students are graduating from College of Ozarks, they're actually able to show uh, that they have three to five years of work experience uh, in relevant ways. For example, a student uh, recently graduated from our uh, computer science program, and uh, he was able to gain a pretty uh, impressive job at Amazon as a computer programmer. And, uh, and he credits the experience he received in our work program, working in IT, is going along with his education that he received here. Uh, also, great example for students who are interested in, let's say, communication arts. Uh, they can work for our public relations office. One of those students recently uh, uh, received an internship with the White House working in public relations. So they're able to use the experience that they gain on campus in addition to their education to get some really amazing opportunities uh, as uh, internships as well as uh, career opportunities. In addition to the work opportunities we provide, we provide a great uh, career guidance program uh, where students can take assessments to learn more about uh, where their skills are, what they're, what they're interested in, and from there go on to determine what majors and minors will work best for them. We also provide coaching to help students develop their resume, cover letters, and also um, conduct mock interviews so they can get some great experience in those ways before they go out and uh, pursue their, their callings. Uh, we also help students uh, build a professional wardrobe or be prepared for whatever work environment they may, uh, they may earn after college. So we're gonna help equip them to be ready to uh, hit the ground running in their occupations. So this work is not only helping them grow as a person and gain experience, it's also helping them pay for college. So this is a pretty unique opportunity for students to not pay tuition, but instead uh, all of our full-time students actually uh, work on campus, like I said, and that work contributes to the cost of their education. So the work covers approximately 30% of their education cost each year. And then the remaining 70% is covered by basically a scholarship that we give to every full-time student here. So between the work and that scholarship, our students graduate without debt. And over the course of four years, this is a potential value of over $78,000. So great way to graduate without debt and uh, really be able to focus financially on their future, not being held back by student loans. 
They do, however, have to pay for some things uh, out of pocket, such as room and board, as well as books, supplies, and other fees. Now with those, we're also trying to help students be able to afford those things. So we offer quite a few scholarships and we offer a summer work program in which about 600 students can actually work on campus during the summertime uh, to pay for their room and board. The next goal, the Christian goal, and that is to foster the Christian faith through the integration of faith with learning, living, and service. So what that looks like, uh, for one, uh, all of our classes are taught from Christian worldview. So uh, this goal is not achieved um, simply by a single department on campus or simply by having chapel service on Sunday. It is truly day-to-day -day integrated in, in really every aspect of the college. Uh, we have retreat opportunities, mentorship opportunities, Christian leadership training, worship gatherings, mission trips. Uh, we, we love the opportunity to help students uh, be able to go and serve other people through opportunities, not only in their community around the country, but also around the world. And our CFO students, um, through these mission trips, they're able to use their God-given talents to share the, share the love of God with people. So we have opportunities for students to um, do construction work, serve people who are, um, you know, fixing, fixing up their house. Uh, we had a group of students recently help do um, hurricane disaster relief. Uh, we've also had students uh, help with medical clinics in remote villages, uh, giving medical checkups. Uh, our athletes are able to go on mission trips and provide, um, they're able to share the gospel and provide opportunities like um, sports camps to kids and all around the world. So overall, we are a Christian college and we take that very seriously. Our students don't have to be Christians to go here, but, but I hope that they will all know the love of God um, as, as they uh, learn and grow here as students. Our next goal, the patriotic goal, is to encourage an understanding of American heritage, civic responsibility, love of country, and a willingness to defend it. So some of the ways that we achieve that goal is um, are through just classes and experiences and opportunities for them to grow in, their, in a deeper understanding of citizenship, and service, and sacrifice. Um, as an institute of higher learning, uh, we would be remiss if we did not uh, take advantage of opportunities for our students to learn and grow, but fail to recognize those who have laid down their lives to provide us with such freedoms. So we have uh, ways that we recognize veterans for their service, uh, first responders for the things they do day in and day out to keep us safe and uh, healthy. We have memorials on campus. We have classes that teach about um, uh, citizenship and, um, and, uh, and duty to country. Uh, we also have a really unique opportunity for students to, uh, to travel through this goal. It's called the Patriotic Education Travel Program. Basically, uh, we have trips where students uh, are able to travel with groups of veterans to places where those veterans served when they were in the military. So our students are able to actually um, go and, um, and learn firsthand from men and women who have, who have served our country bravely. Uh, we've actually had over 400 students and 200 veterans participate in that program since it started in 2000 nine and they've gone to places really around the world, um, Europe, um, Japan, um, Pearl Harbor, uh, Korea, um, North Africa, uh, and all those areas um, you know, focus on uh, World War II, um, Cold War, Korean War, Vietnam as well. Our next goal, cultural goal, is to cultivate an appreciation of fine arts, an understanding of the world, and adherence to high personal standards. So we achieve that through a variety of different opportunities, such as we have some um, convocations each year that where uh, guest speakers come and, and talk with our students about um, really a wide variety of, of experiences that I had. Some of the uh, world-renowned speakers that we've had on campus include 
uh, President George Bush, uh, Dr. Ben Carson, uh, we've had uh, Amy Grant recently, um, Margaret Thatcher, Tim Tebow, uh, some really fascinating people have been able to come and speak with our students and share their experiences. Uh, we also have many opportunities, like I've said before, through the other goals to travel. Uh, we also have uh, study abroad opportunities. And, and the unique thing about our travel opportunities is that our students actually um, don't have to pay for those travel opportunities. We see them as a great benefit to our students. So we take care of the cost of their travel uh, so they can get those opportunities to learn in unique ways. We also have quite a few opportunities to be involved in music ensembles on campus, as well as clubs and organizations, honor societies, teams. We actually have over 50 uh, clubs, organizations, and honor societies on campus. You can see a list of those there. Uh, so many opportunities for students to get to know other people with similar interests, as well as uh, people from different backgrounds, and to, uh, to serve in our community as well. And uh, speaking of being involved on campus, we have over 100 events and activities on campus per semester. So there's uh, really never a dull moment. Uh, and uh, we really take pride in offering a, a unique um, college experience for students that's uh, safe and fun and wholesome. Uh, some of the events we host on campus each year include uh, Mudfest. You can see it there. It's uh, actually a, a massive tug of war event. Um, the different residence halls on campus have teams that compete uh, in tug of war over a giant mud pit. Uh, needless to say, the, the loser ends up uh, getting a little bit muddy, um, but it's a really good time. We also have opportunities like intramural sports, uh, lip sync, which is a, a music performance program. We do also have uh, opportunities throughout um, the fall for fall festivals. We have Sadie Hawkins dance, corn mazes, hay rides, and of course, lots and lots of flannel. Uh, we have uh, Coffee House, which is the opportunity for students to not only consume a lot of caffeine through coffee, but also if they, uh, if they are musically talented, they can perform um, their music abilities for their fellow students. We have a pretty unique opportunity for students uh, as they're coming in, entering uh, College of the Ozarks. It's a week-long program called Character Camp. Helps uh, them learn more about the college, uh, meet their fellow students, create some really great memories and, uh, and friendships to help them hit the ground running as they start their time here. Now, I do have to say College of the Ozarks is a pretty structured environment. Uh, like I said, we want to provide a safe and fun learning environment for our students uh, without them having to uh, having to deal with some of the distractions such as um, drugs and alcohol. We have a zero tolerance for drugs and alcohol. We also have a 1 a.m. curfew. We take safety uh, very seriously here on campus. So we hope to create an environment for students in which years after they're graduating, they are able to reflect back on their time at CFO with fond uh, memories of priceless community in a wholesome college environment. As far as uh, athletics go, we have both men's and women's athletics. Uh, we are involved in NAIA, NCAA, and uh, AII opportunities. Uh, we have both men's and women's golf, men's baseball, men's and women's cheerleading, women's volleyball, men's and women's cross country and track and field, as well as men's and women's basketball. Now, when it comes to the application process, uh, it is quite competitive. Uh, we do recommend that students begin applying at least a year in advance to when they would like to attend College of the Ozarks so that they have plenty of time to accomplish all the steps in the application process. Uh, the first thing we recommend students do is to apply. Our online application is free. And again, we recommend applying a year in advance to when they would like to attend. However, if a student um, does apply within a year of when they would like to attend, that's quite all right. It will take some um, some dedication to this process, but we're here to help students get through it 
uh, successfully. Uh, first thing we recommend doing is to apply online, like I said, and then submit their high school transcript and their ACT or SAT scores. Um, now students can do each of these steps individually. They don't have to have everything together all at one time to submit. They can start this process and keep it going and we'll continue to help them know what they need to accomplish and when. We do have an interview as part of the application process. To receive an interview, students have to have at least a 3.0 GPA, at least a 20 on the ACT or a 1030 SAT, and we'd like to uh, see that they're in the top 50% of their class. Now, of course, uh, we understand that some, some students may not uh, meet all of these uh, uh, criteria, so we will review their information as they submit it and try to make a, a well-rounded decision between those things uh, with regard to the interview. We also have some specific reference forms that, for them to complete. Once a student uh, applies, we will email them these reference forms and they can give these to their references, which we recommend those being uh, officials from their school, uh, their church, it could be an employer, a family friend, um, someone that, that, that can speak highly of their character and, and has uh, witnessed how they operate in various environments. Uh, these references cannot be completed though by uh, any kind of family member though. And then the FAFSA, financial aid application. It is available to complete online. It is something that seniors can complete uh, starting October 1st. Uh, so uh, coming up here pretty soon. And then we recommend students complete this entire process by December 31st of their senior year. That is our initial consideration date. It is not a due date or a deadline. Uh, it is just a recommended time to complete uh, these steps. Um, and that is the time in which we make uh, many of our admissions decisions and it does fill up quite fast. So we recommend meeting that, that date if possible. Now for students who aren't quite ready for uh, the application process, maybe they're uh, uh, not quite sure if College of the Ozarks is uh, somewhere they wanna apply yet, uh, we would love to provide them with more information uh, regarding our campus. Uh, right now we are providing virtual tours. Um, students can um, uh, observe a virtual tour at any time by visiting the link on the screen. And uh, through that, that link, they'll hear from students on campus. They'll see pictures from around campus as well. And uh, in the future, we do hope to provide on-campus tours again. And of course, those tours uh, and updates regarding on-campus visits can be, uh, we, uh, we provide that information if students reach out, uh, with a phone call or an email, we'll uh, update them with, with that information. But at this point, I would love to, um, to answer any questions that uh, may be coming in. So at this point, if you haven't done so yet, please uh, uh, send those questions to me by the chat option. And I'll cover, like I said, as many as I can uh, here in the, uh, the moments we have left in this presentation. Okay, one question uh, that we have is uh, regarding the jobs on campus. So uh, specifically jobs that involve um, students who are interested in um, agriculture, specifically animal science or conservation. That's a great question. So I'm actually going to go back to that slide so we can see uh, more of um, those job listings. So bear with me one moment as I get back there. Okay, so as far as for students who are interested in animal science or conservation, uh, you can see there towards the beginning of the list, our agriculture department has multiple areas within agriculture uh, for students. Um, if they're interested in animal science, we actually have uh, operating farms on campus. Uh, where students can, uh, we have a beef farm, a dairy farm, and a hog farm. So students can actually uh, work with the animals we have on campus in those environments, including the care and health of, of those animals. So some great opportunities to, to uh, get your, uh, 
get your uh, feet wet in that sort of environment, um, as well as uh, we have students working in our um, uh, science areas, such as the biology department. So they can uh, work in that environment as uh, a lab assistant or a tutor, uh, which I think would complement both the animal science area as well as the conservation and wildlife management area. So uh, those are areas I would recommend. Side note too about the work opportunity. Um, I, I was mentioning that students can work in areas that go along with their majors. That isn't a requirement though uh, of the college. Uh, we just recommend students take advantage of those opportunities if, if they see it as a benefit to them in the future. However, students can work in areas that are just interesting to them or maybe they have past work experience that uh, they could contribute to a certain work environment. Um, such as areas uh, that may not go along with academic programs. For example, we have a great construction uh, department uh, where students, if they uh, love that uh, occupation or have uh, past experience in that area, um, they can help work in those environments, whether they're studying um, engineering or music. It, it doesn't matter. We, we'd love to put them in places that best suit them and where they would um, uh, most enjoy the work involved. Thank you for submitting that question. Another question we have, what does the average week look like for a C of O student? So uh, overall, uh, students are, are, most of our students are full-time students, so they're going to be taking at least 12 credit hours of classes per week. Uh, most students, though, are going to take at least 15 um, and can take up to 21 credit hours per semester. And so their class schedules will be established first and then their work schedules their 15 hours of work each week will be set around their class schedule so there's never a conflict of should they be at class or should they be at work we're going to have those separated out we want students to be in class when they need to be in class and then they'll have the opportunity to work outside of that time uh, outside of work and class there's plenty of time to uh, to uh, to get involved in other activities. Um, most classes uh, finish by about 5 p.m. each day, Monday through Friday. So generally in the evenings, uh, it's time for um, fellowship, activities, studying, of course some rest as well in there. So the, the week is pretty busy with all of these opportunities. However, uh, time management is a, a great thing we, we emphasize here and I believe that students are able to balance these things well and also have time to do other things that they want to do like i said activities as well and um, you know on the weekends uh, take advantage of, of uh, getting some rest or catching up on their homework so it is busy but it is a great learning opportunity for students to grow in their time management with some great opportunities uh, as far as uh, living on campus most of our students are residential students uh, their room and board does provide a meal plan that provides uh, three meals a day, seven days a week throughout each semester. So um, all their meals are covered on campus throughout the semesters for them. Um, another question. Um, vehicles on campus. So students can bring vehicles on campus with them. Uh, we do have a, a parking pass process where they'll register their vehicle. Uh, we do have a freshman vehicle policy, which um, means that students in their freshman year can actually have vehicles on campus with them and they can use their vehicles on the weekends. Uh, the reason why we have that is we hope that students in their first year will really be able to get used to the time management it takes to be successful here and to uh, not get spread too thin their first uh, first year and really focus on what they need to do to be successful uh, during that time. And then um, after their freshman year, they'll be able to use their vehicles throughout the week. Um, but of course, they can use their vehicles throughout their freshman year on the weekends. Okay, another question regarding jobs on campus. Um, so students will work in each work area for at least one semester. Uh, after each semester, they have the opportunity to fill out an additional work application. Uh, so when they apply, they can pick five areas where they'd like to work on campus. And they can also list some different work experience and skills that they have. Uh, 
that may contribute to a certain work environment. We'll use that information to, uh, to help plug them in with uh, uh, different work environments around campus. They may have to do an interview or submit other kind of uh, information like a resume. Uh, maybe they'll have to qualify academically in some way, but uh, we'll go through that process with each student. And, uh, and it is based on availability as well. So some workstations are quite large, such as our hotel and restaurant on campus uh, has over 300 students working in those different areas. Whereas some other workstations on campus are, are small, um, maybe down to one student. So uh, some work areas have more opportunities each semester, whereas other opportunities may be more limited and students may have to wait um, a little bit longer to uh, possibly get in those environments. Um, but like I said earlier, we want students to be able to uh, get some great work experience on campus. So we're going to help them try to get in those areas that uh, interest them most and will be a best fit for them. Okay. Um, we are winding down on time here in um, just a moment. Uh, other questions that are coming in. Um, I will try to get um, those answered here very soon. I will have a transcript of this recording and um, I'll be able to, uh, to reach out to you individually about other questions uh, at this time. But I do appreciate your, uh, your time and your interest in College of the Ozarks. Again, if you have any questions or uh, if you're interested in learning more about the college, I recommend checking out our virtual tour, uh, checking out our website, sending us an email, giving us a call. We're here to help you uh, through this time in your life. And so uh, let us know how we can do that. Again, thank you for your time. And I hope you have a great rest of your evening. God bless. So just want to thank those of you who are with us on the uh, presentation today and learning about College of the Ozarks. And um, just want to let you know that when you sign off, you will get a quick survey, just four questions. We'd hope that you would take time to do that. If you're interested in some more sessions, um, then you can certainly sign up for that at www.moacac.org. And um, as Paul said, um, this session has been recorded. He'll get back to any questions that were unanswered. And um, you can get the recordings at uh, www.moacac.org. So thank you very much for joining us tonight. All right, thank you, Paul. Thank you for your help. Yeah, that went went very well. I can't imagine, you know, having to speak like that to everybody, but I thought you did a great job. So thank you so much. Yeah, so thank you. And I wish you well this uh, season of recruiting. I hope you get some great students. Thank you so much. Have a great All night. Right. Okay, bye-bye.